Hello guys and welcome to another Age of Empires 4 game. This time we have Revain playing as the Byzantines in the color teal. Long time we now see Revain on the on one of these games, so I'm really curious to see how this one play out. At the same time, Kiljardi playing as the Abbasid dynasty in the color pink. Both players really really good. Of course, we all know Kiljardi. Revain has been using a Chinese name for for the last season so sometimes people don't know it's, it's him but he is a really really good player I think it's more than 2000 ELO which is, a, <laughs> this is pretty high it's pretty pretty high to be honest Kiljardi obviously we have seen him doing a really really good performance on the tournaments as well as King of the North got the second place there so he, he, he's a guy with a lot of tricks under under the hand. He, he's the kind of guy who says, I'm not afraid of Byzantines. I think they are, you know, overrated. And he's a firm believer that JD is actually very, very good Sif. And he does very, very, very good with it. Uh, he has proven so many times that when... Anytime that Giljardi's game style is pretty much like... He always knows when to attack, and he's like the kind of guy who's always attacking, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you know where there is times where you should attack and you shouldn't, and it's like you attack and it's like, oh, I think I need to go back, or sometimes you don't attack and it's like, when you watch the replay, it's like, oh, I should have attack here. Iljardi is the kind of guy with a sixth sense where... He can just, he knows, he knows when to go and, you know, he knows when to attack and when not to attack and he usually have a really, really good result with that. So let's see what Rebain is preparing for us. We're gonna see a Grand Winery opening, not an early farm yet for him, but, you know, gonna grab some berries and gonna have some olive oil to get those mercenary units out. Meanwhile, Kiljardi opening up with a military wing. You know, I, I like military wing in this matchup against the Byzantines. Usually it's very it's very good because they they are not the kind of civilization that will be able to defend quite early. Especially most of the time you will find the berries really exposed and they are gathering them. Like most civilizations they are just gathering the ship because you know, berries are not a really good food resource for them. Uh, but denying the berries for the Byzantine is actually very, very good. And sending those military units early on gives you some time. It really gives you some time. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Kiljardi gets away with it. But other than that, I'm not really a big fan of the military wing these days. Like, it's kind of those, those situations where if you don't get value from it, you're missing a lot. Like, let's say your opponent managed to defend your early push somehow and you, then you're like having some units that, you know, they're, they're pretty much for nothing. And Culture Wing usually a very, very good choice. You can always Asia faster. Economic Wing, obviously. Very, very good choice. Yeah, I even so economic wing against English. So it, it really, really works out. Military wing, it's kind of those things where in the hands of, of a good player, I believe it does well. So I believe in Kiljardi. Let's see how this goes. In three seconds, we're going to see some units going right directly into the Byzantine space. Meanwhile, Rebain already with a level two sister. Gonna get it. Getting horticulture first, not gonna get in that early wheelbarrow, we shall see, oh, which makes a lot of sense. You know, at the beginning, all the resources are really, really close to you, especially the wood line, you don't see big distances, so you can skip the wheelbarrow for now. Meanwhile, these units are already on the way there. Let's take a look at Gildjardi's vision. He already have the scout around here. He, know, he knows about the Grand Winery, he knows about the gold. So there's plenty of resources he can harass. Mercenary house already coming for Rebane, so it's gonna be able to produce those Lombowman really, really soon. He's about to hit that 500 olive oil. 
that allows him to produce those units. And it's gonna be the Keshix. Interesting choice indeed. Interesting choice. Did he just cancel? No, never mind. It, it, it is finished. Keshix is already here. And it's already all, only 400 olive oil. oil. So... Now you get only two of them. So... It's not like a... Five Lombos. <laughs> but... Or four Javelin Towers. But you get two Keshix. Now in this case, normally when I see the Keshix, I don't really like it. Just because your opponent already have the unit to counter it. It's already Spearman. And Kill Jardy? I already have a couple of Spearmen there. I wonder why Kiljardi didn't push here. I mean, he did manage to push out from the berries, but Rebane has enough to just get the first batch of Keshiks out there. Meanwhile, Archery range already there for him. And Sable coming up as well. Let's take a look at Kiljardi. Not sitting, not getting the Golden Age yet. And he's really not a... 2TC guy, he's gonna play with 1TC Abbasid, which is uh, it's very strong actually, but kind of risky. It's kind of risky. At least you wanna have the the Golden Age before uh, doing anything else. It's just, just really, really good. Just to get those extra gathering resources. And well, a couple of archers already there, and let's take a look at Ray Bane's point of view. It's like it's gonna be able to harass with some Keshix. There are not many points to harass here. The berries are about to finish. And there's plenty of sheep for Kildardi out there. And it looks like he's gonna be on the defensive side. Looks like with this house, he's gonna be able to get to the Golden Age. There you go. Golden Age tier 1. And all these villagers will be able to gather more resources. A nice catch by Rivain. Finding those archers. Looks like he's gonna pull back for now. Another batch of Kejix going, going out for him. And looks like he's not doing, you know, the, the kind of English style type of build with a Byzantine where you just put a lot of farms around your Grand Winery and just you don't need to go out in the map. It's gonna be playing. But a little bit more aggressively, not thinking too much about the future. I mean, when you when you play against Kiljardi, a guy who don't believe in 2TC Abbasid, just believe in full military units, you gotta pump those units, otherwise this guy is gonna have more military units than you. Already have 9 archers for Kiljardi. But archers are not really doing anything here. To be honest. I mean, we have seen Kiljardi is a big fan of archers. Especially with the with Abbasid. Like if you get a fresh fresh wood stuff, which he has, he, he, you can have a lot of villagers on wood. And just up get a lot of archers really fast. But it wouldn't be the first time that we see Kiljardi playing with a massive archer in the field age. That's a lot of horsemen. Um, you know, there are not so many Spearmen out there. Archers not there for Revenge. Where, where, where are these archers? There you go. So Revenge is pumping more and more units. I have another batch of Keshiks. And looks like Iljardi will add more Spearmen into the mix. That's quite a lot of Keshiks and Horsemen, so... Gotta be careful with those. Take a look at the income. See how these guys are doing. Looks like Revain still. Looks like there is no sign to put any any castellage for him. So he's gonna start the farm transition. Berries are really up in the front and Kiljardi already. Preparing some walls to deny the food here. That's a lot of berries. That's a lot of berries that you want to have for yourself. Uh, I think denying these food resources is quite big. It's quite a big advantage. Like you want to have those berries for yourself. And there's plenty of food here for the Abbasid. 
And not only that, you're denying those olive oil for the Byzantine. So no more Keshik production for him. T talking about six olive oil per minute. We're not gonna see more Keshiks on the field. You got killed Yardi. Get it bo getting bootcamp. Which is really really nice. Gonna get those extra HP for all those units. 15% HP. So it's it's quite significant at this point in the game where you have equal army value, equal numbers. A little bit of HP can make the difference between winning or losing the fight. It looks like Revain will find this. It's like, never mind. It's like, you already pulled a villager here. It's not gonna build a. It's like he realized actually my opponent is here like the berries are not gonna be able to get denied for revenge he's gonna go there for the barracks in the back instead which is not the best but it is what you have at the moment meanwhile Kiljardi getting those blacksmith upgrades revenge already with all military upgrades actually and he's gonna get the border settlements upgrade like those extra look at this look at this house this kind of like the thing where they sell you a house with a nice view this is a kind of house it's a really nice house and if you think that the house is nice you should check the imperial ones they are they are beautiful they are like amazing real estate you should buy it at that time if you had a chance but look uh, <laughs> stop talking about real estate uh it's a it's a little bit too too late for me yeah, it, let's talk about this game because it looks like Rivain will actually find the villagers here. He's already actually reacting on time, but there are, there are too many units here. Looks like these villagers will go down, but the army of Kilgardi is already here. It looks like we're gonna have a fight. There's plenty of spearmen that are already there for Kilgardi. 12 of them. Archers focusing on those spearmen. Spearmen slow but steady going down, focusing on those horsemen. And camels just debuffing the, the attack of these horsemen it looks like the numbers looking really good for Kujardi at the moment you know, horseman number actually Kujardi looking really good at the moment but horseman numbers not decreasing and spearman numbers for Kujardi are actually decreasing and a fight that should have gone really well for Kujardi is it's actually now in favor of Rivain. Kiljardi will be forced to pull back for now. Meaning these very resources probably gonna get denied if he pulls back. More spear coming for Kiljardi. But now the damage is done and not so many archers for Rivain to counter the spearman yet. It looks like he will have to pull back for the moment. But at the same time, Revenge, thinking about the Asia. Already halfway there with the resources. Both players in one town center, so they are pretty much equal. He barely lost to villagers, but he does have the golden age. Farms coming up for him. Looks like he's struggling for food at the moment. The berries that he should have got. Now he knows he cannot go there. He's building an outpost here. Just to secure those. This is a juicy spot. It's a juicy spot. Like, can't get better than this. Looks like Ijardi will go for a raid. We'll manage to find some villagers here. At the same time. Revain aging up at the same time. Like he will... Pull the military and Kiljardi managed to take the first villager of the game actually. Why, why is Revain one villager ahead? Two villagers ahead? Is it, maybe we had some TC idle time here. Probably a little bit of a foot issue happens from time to time where you're just building army and it's like eh, I forgot a foot about the for the villagers. Meanwhile, Golden Horn Tower about to finish and Kiljardi 
with a decent army value, but nowhere near aging up. Looks like the walls are gonna get finished here. So he's gonna be having this foot for some time. Veterancy upgrades coming up for Rebane, Veterancy Horseman, and get the Veterancy upgrade for those Keshiks as well. It looks like Kijardi will have to rush that Castle H. He has enough units at this point. The best thing you can do is just stay at your base. Try not to attack. Try to not lose your units. You will H up. Uh, Revain. I'm really gonna deny the berries here. I wonder if Kiljardi will be able to gather food. It's like he's forced to make some units now and he will have to go for the, these better and horseman mass that he don't have much choice now. I have a couple of outposts here. I'm gonna be gathering the, that deer. But there's not enough spearmen around here. And archers against veteran units? Not really the best. Not really the best you can have at the moment. But looks like Rebane will pull for now. We'll back off. Not gonna be engaging in any fight for now. He's gathering some relics. The first relic is being gathered. And now it looks like Kijardi. I really secure his food resources. Looks like he will find <laughs> the berries already being gathered here. Like his guard will have to take his army right here. At the same time, he goes for a raid. Villagers get buffed here with the Ak Akritoi. What was the name of this? Akritoi. There, there you go. A uh, really strange word. There is plenty of units here, but I do wonder if this is enough. Barangian guards are starting to join into the mix of Revain's composition. There's plenty of archers here. They do have plenty of attack, but Revain already have plus two range armor. So I don't, I don't know if these archers are just gonna make it. And Kiljardi is now aging up with the economic wing. You need to go economic win because you don't have the map control. You need those farms right away. Because you, you basically you have no food now. And these archers need to be upgraded. But Kiljard is forced to have a fight now. Unfortunately for him. Like he has to take this fight. And he's trying to pull back, but he's losing quite a significant amount of archers. That could be easily be upgraded in the castle. She has enough resources to get the, that veterancy upgrade, composite bows, and it's just a different type of army. It's just a different type of beast when you upgrade those archers. But now he doesn't have the numbers, and food is gonna be an issue here. Economy idle for Kiljardi. He stopped gathering the deer for now, and there is an army already here. Uh, so it's. It's gonna get really tricky for him. Economic wing up in 45 seconds. That's the worst thing uh, you can have is when you try to age up and you cannot just hurry up with more villagers building the landmark. You just have to wait in the house of wisdom to get finished. And now Raven push directly into the Kiljardi space and it's gonna have even more idols, more, more villagers on idle time. Come on, archers. I do really well actually against those Keshiks, but unfortunately they will go down really soon. Economic wing ready in 10 seconds, but Kiljard is losing all his army. Second relic already being gathered by Rebane, and meanwhile Kiljard is struggling with food. On the other side of the map, we have plenty of olive roofs here for Rebane. Cataphract already here. And economy will be idle for some time. Gilgardi with plenty of wood. Needs to wait for that further crescent to get those those discounts. Or he can get much more much more farms going up for him. Still has half some gold. 
still have some gold left. Enough to get those upgrades. Enough to get those... Oh my god, food get, getting denied again. This is definitely a tough one for Kiljardi. And Rebane is just pushing with units. Golden Horn Tower, Mercenary House, Farm Transition. He's living the time of his life here. Meanwhile, Kiljardi is struggling to get those resources in the map. Already finding some some gold here, but it looks like he's gonna he's gonna grab some food. Have a market, gonna have be forced to sell some resources. And he's getting some eco upgrades. Managed to build a mangonel. Emergency mangonel already here. I'm not I'm just not sure how it will go against so many Keshiks. You can easily snipe the mangonel. Especially because Kiljardi doesn't have many units to protect the mangonel. But it looks like villagers will get denied a foot once again in this area. And this time looks like he's not gonna be able to escape. More army coming from Rivain here and now the numbers are looking really scary. Looks like Kiljardi will go for an emergency keep. This is what I call an emergency keep, it has to be that way. Is it an emergency keep or is it an emergency town center? I don't, I'm not sure anymore. A keep will be nice. I'm not gonna lie. A keep will give you some time. I don't know how much, but it will give you some time. Especially with a couple of manuals here. Fourth relic already there for Rebain. And villagers gonna get denied the food once again here. A couple of Keshiks. That's a lot of horsemen. This is a guy who loves cavalry. Lancers out there for Kiljardi. Meanwhile, farm transition not started yet for him. Still struggling a little bit for food, but he's doing the best with what he has now. I mean, if you don't have food, well, let's just make mangonels and a keep, probably. He's getting actual emplacement in this outpost, but. Unfortunately for him, Alpha's gonna go down. Let's take a look at Rebane's vision. It's pretty much denying the food in every corner of the map. More stone being gathered here. Next one is really up front, gonna be careful here. It looks like Kiljardi will be forced for a dry season. Only these farms are gonna be served for the... Oh, wait a second. A second town center coming up. Now the problem with this is it takes some time to pay off. And your opponent doesn't look like the guy who wants to wait. He already have 87 military units. A couple of mangonels doing quite some decent damage and nice body block coming for Kiljardi but looks like it's not gonna be enough and he taps out well played by these two players I hope you enjoyed this match and if you do don't forget to subscribe to watch more Age of Empires 4 content I will see you in the next one